BBC's Polar Bear is my favorite documentary. The documentary tells that the area of Arctic glaciers is shrinking. Polar bears are difficult to find food, and hunger has led to a sharp decline in the number of polar bears. I sympathize with these polar bears and wanted to do something to help them. The experience of these polar bears makes me interested in studying glacier melting, and that's what I want to talk to you all about tonight. Before talking about glaciers, I'll explain to you what a glacier is and why it melts. Glaciers are formed by snow through a series of changes. After snow turns into snow particles, the large and small snow particles will squeeze each other. As the hardness and compactness continue to increase with the passage of time, the pores between them will continue to shrink, and some air is closed inside, which forms glacial ice. Since glaciers are thick and solid snow, why do glaciers melt? Years of persistent scientific research has led to the main discovery of the main reason for glacier melting: global warming. In a research report from the United Nations Environment Program, experts have conducted on more than. 3,000 glaciers and more than 2,000 glacial lakes in Nepal, and 677 glaciers and over 2,500 glacial lakes in Bhutan. Research shows that the temperature of these areas has increased by one degree Celsius since the 1970s. Now that we know why the glaciers melt and to what extent the glaciers are melting, let's take a look at the serious consequences of glacier melting. First of all, let's talk about the impact that I'm most interested in, which is the impact of glacier melting on animals. In the past 30 years, the Arctic summer ice area has decreased by 40 percent. Polar bears have lost their ice floes and are trapped on dry land. There is no meat, such as seals, on dry land. In order to survive, they have to venture into human territories for hunting or other unfamiliar animal territories. If the scale of glacier melting continues to expand year after year, more bears will starve. By 2050, two-thirds of polar bears may disappear. Secondly, excessive water can also lead to survival problems. Excessive melting of glaciers is causing floods and destroying houses. In Nepal, in 90. 85 floods caused by glaciers destroyed hydroelectric power stations and caused a large number of deaths. In 1984, the glacier of Lake Perchaca in Peru melted, causing the glacial lake to burst and flood, killing at least 1,800 people. Melting glaciers also pose a threat in other terrible ways. In 2015, scientists found a virus in Siberian glaciers, Malvarious Siberian, which has been sealed for more than 30,000 years. Its body size is more than twice the anthrax virus. Scientists have successfully infected amoebas with this kind of virus, which means that these dust-covered viruses are still active. As glaciers melt, scientists expect to release more ancient viruses. Once these viruses enter the ocean and infect marine organisms, humans and animals may be infected by them. Global warming and the acceleration of global glacier melting, in particular, is a warning to humans because human activities produce a large number of greenhouse gases, which is the main cause of climate change. It can be seen that reducing greenhouse gases is urgent.
This is a tough battle for human survival and requires humans from all over the world to participate. Here are some ways you can slow down the melting of glaciers. Cars are one of the main emitters of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, about 20% according to scientific estimates. We can ride bikes more often or take public transportation. This can reduce the use of private cars and promote low carbon travel. Second, use renewable energy. China has made great efforts to develop clean energy and build hydropower stations. The famous Three Gorges hydropower station have gradually replaced traditional thermal power generation. Wind power stations in Xinjiang and Inner Mongolia have gradually replaced traditional thermal power generation. In addition, China's new electric vehicles vehicles account for 40% of the world's new electric vehicles. China have made great efforts to deal with climate change and set the goal of achieving zero carbon emissions by 2060. China can reduce emissions faster, set more ambitious goals, and take the initiative as a world leader to help poor countries transition into renewable energy. Third, recycle waste materials. By recycling and reusing domestic waste, the harmful gases generated by waste incineration can be reduced, and more greenhouse gases can be avoided. It is estimated that waste recycling can reduce global greenhouse gas emissions by 8% to 10% every year. We depend on the Earth for our survival, and we must cherish it. We need to let more people know about the melting of glaciers. As an old saying in China goes, 众人食材火焰高, 人多力量大, We need you, thank you, 